everyone, it's Bonnie here, and today I'd like to share with you my design team project for Kitty Scrap Post, um, which is now on Zibit. Uh, Louisa carries digital printable kits in her store, and uh, the, the kit that I used for these boxes is called Angelic Christmas. So, um... I there are a couple of different um, themes and colors that I, I just couldn't decide on using so I chose three of my favorites I love them all but these were my very very favorite so let me start with this one right here this cute little treat box I had purchased at the Hobby Lobby okay and then just covered it th with this absolutely gorgeous paper from Louisa's store and again it's the angelic Christmas and I just love this image right here so I distressed all of the all of the edges here and then over here I used some script and texture paint and the, all of the flowers here are from Wild Orchid Crafts. And I added um, diamond dust to all the flowers here. So I thought that looked beautiful and sparkly. Let me see if I can... Oop, too much. Okay. Um, and then up here, I added some of these pearl sprays. And if you look closely, you can see that I added the diamond dust to those as well. So everything looks very icy. Um, these two flowers here are from my friend Nikki. Thank you, Nikki. And I covered all of this up. And this here I used um, the, the clock stencil with the texture paint. And then I did the same thing on the side here. Isn't this paper just absolutely stunning? It's so beautiful. There is just so much. You don't have to do anything. That's why, you know, the sides, I just didn't do anything except added this beautiful script um, with te texture paint. And I love, love, love the colors. So I did the same thing on the other side. And I added her to this side. And again, um, distressed all of the edges and the back look how gorgeous that is Isn't that beautiful I used the clock on the top and the clock um, stencil on the bottom and I also <laughs> I also did the bottom I'm not sure why because you can't really see it but I was having so much fun with this script stencil that I just couldn't stop so that is my first box and the second one is this amazing, this is probably my favorite, because I just love the winter colors. And this one has this adorable little girl. She looks like she's got like a little holly um, branch there. I think underneath she has another one here. And that is her beautiful wing that I sadly covered up with this flower here and this is by recollections and I added these just um, picks from Michaels in these cute little flowers there and a white leaf in these see how it jingles I have these stamens and it has the feathers with little bells attached to it so I did the same thing on this and distressed all of the sides and uses, used my texture paint with um, the clock stencil. And on the top, I just have this bling here that I had in my stash. I'm not sure where it's from. This is, all of these are all recollection flowers. Another white leaf. And here is more of those stamens with the um, uh, feather and the little bells that are hanging off of it. And I got these at Joann's. 
and the side has this absolutely stunning image of this fairy isn't she beautiful gorgeous 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 so i put her on the side added some more of that script on the top and the bottom everything's all distressed here i did the same on the back aren't these colors gorgeous absolutely stunning and there's the clocks up here and this paper here actually has um, a clock image in it see up there and up there so that was cool that I added um, that right in the middle and this side oh I added the script on the top and then the clock um, on the bottom here so it gave it some nice texture oh I guess I did the bottom of this one too with my texture paint I love the clocks in this so beautiful so I have that box and then the last one here is um, this little angelic angel cherub isn't she so cute so again I distressed all of the edges in this time I used um, stickles and I can't remember the name of the one that I used could be I'm not sure all right so anyway I added this um, snowflake here that I got from Michaels it was already um, glittered and then this um, rosette flower and I used glit you know I glittered all that up too and then added this beautiful dove which I also glittered so this one's like all shimmery and uh, shiny and then up here I have some more beautiful flowers and again they're all glittered these are from um, the Hobby Lobby these um, I got from my friend Anna who went to LA and, sh and shopped for me and this one too this one's um, I'm not really sure and then I have some bells that I added here and I painted them white and added glitter to that too and then added this this fun little stuff here and then up here I had this trim Isn't that cute it's all sequins so I added that too so I thought that looked really beautiful very shiny and shimmery okay and then the side I basically did the same thing distressed it and added the clock and back here I couldn't do anything with it because I didn't want to cover her up at all she's just so beautiful and there's the top okay and then the side here look at this beautiful rose right there it's gorgeous and then the bottom I added her again <laughs> I just love her so pretty so those are my altered treat boxes and then I'll show you some decorations that I also created these here I made with the angelic Christmas bottle cap collage sheet also sold in kitty scrap post oops hang on okay on zibit so these are little snowflakes that I picked up at Michaels and they're the wooden ones and I just painted them glittered them and then added this um, this here it's also a snowflake that I got from the dollar store and there's the little image of like a, a vintage um, little girl she has like on a bonnet and a cape and she's um, she has a wreath in her hand and I added some glitter in there as well and then this fun fiber for a hanger so that's that one and then the next one is this beautiful angel and I basically did the same thing with this one 
very beautiful there's the back and this one too there's two angels you can tell I like the angels this um, this sheet comes with tons of different images so there's that one and then here is this one and let me tell you guys I have sparkle from one end of my house to the other I've had so much fun making all of these little ornaments and then the next one is these cute little bottle caps with charms and these were silver um, let's see if I have any they looked like this and I believe I got them from Hobby Lobby and I just poked a hole in the top and the bottom and I gessoed everything with white and you know added these rings in it and then this beautiful charm and then this image here and she's so cute <laughs> I, I used her twice so you can tell I love her and this one too I really love her too she's so pretty and I basically did the same thing it was all silver and I really wanted to make it shabby chic and I painted it with gesso and then added this beautiful bead charm very beautiful oops so I have that one and then this one here what a sweet little image, huh? Isn't she pretty? And I love the color. She's got teal, you know, teal color in her dress. So I use these beautiful teal charms and beads and these cute little angel um, wings here. So I really love how that one turned out, too. And then, as if that wasn't enough, I made some altered bottle caps and Louisa also has um, angelic Christmas bottle cap collage sheet and so again I used one of my favorite images with the teal and this is an altered domino my husband drilled a hole through the middle of it and I added this beautiful charm here at the top and then these here I think this is a Jesse James bead a little snowflake charm there and the back is just that's the color I used with my alcohol ink it's two different colors actually together to get that to get that color and I think I did the same thing with this too. I mixed a couple of different colors together to, to create that. And then I used this one. Again, that vintage girl with her beautiful cape. I love it. And then I have these beads right here. Very beautiful. I just love those. And a little snowflake. And then the last one it is this, the little cherub angel. She's so sweet. And again, I have the little bead at the top. And you can hang these on your Christmas tree. I have tons on mine that I, I made last year. And I have some beads here, a little snowflake. And then this charm here with some bling in it. So that's that one. And these ornaments here, the dominoes, the um, bottle caps, and the snowflakes are all available in my Etsy shop. So if you are interested, I do have those listed um, 
as well as a couple of those snow globes that I created. So I will put the link to Kitty Scrap Post in the description box below, as well as my Etsy store. I would uh, love it if you check it out and um, see if you like anything. So, all right, that is my design team project for Kitty Scrap Post. Um, thanks everybody for watching and have a beautiful week. Take care. Bye-bye.